I'm Cillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how to paint a wet on wet landscape painting in oil. Poppy folds. Enjoy! We've put down a thin layer of creamy white paint mixed with liquid original all over the canvas. And starting at the top, so that the darkest color is all the way on the top edge. And we'll put a mixture of ultramarine and phthalo blue to get a sky a bit on the darker side. And we'll work our way down with crisscross kind of strokes till we get to the horizon, getting lighter as we go down. And starting from the horizon and working upwards, we'll put some orangey colored clouds. You can never decide whether they're sunrise or sunset. I guess it depends what you want it to be. So we'll just make them all turned upwards spread across the sky and just be careful not to touch the blue with the yellow too much since that will make the sky a bright green. You want to just touch the yellow onto the canvas and leave it not to blend it too much. Here are some edges of clouds of crimson. And we'll blend it very, very lightly, just touching it with a big brush. Just touching it just to get the brush marks out and to blend it all together so it looks nice and smooth. And using some, some more dark blue paint. We'll put some distant mountains and closer mountains. The ones on the right side are further back, and the ones on the left are closer up. They look like they're sort of joined in the middle, but they're not really. And still using the palette knife. We will give them some highlights coming down from that shiny sky onto those faraway mountains. And here on the rocks that are closer up, we'll use some a blend of browns and white and the gray to put layers of rock on one on top of the other. It's important when making those mountains in the background to brush all the excess paint downwards so that you're able to layer other colors on top. And here we combined a thalo green and yellow and we're putting a lighter green in the distance and gradually working our way darker green as we come closer to the front. So the grass that's furthest away will be the lightest in color with more of a brownish tinge. And we're making sure to keep the grass falling down in the direction of these hills, sloping down towards the center where this waterfall is going to be. And we layer them sort of one ahead of the other, leaving some space in between so that you get some idea of distance. Now here are these brown colored rocks that are just in the middle of this field. And on top of these rocks are small waterfalls. 
So as we come closer to the front of the painting, the grass gets greener and brighter. And the rocks as well, they're bigger and they're more vivid. So here we've got a nice coverage of green all over. You can see the background grass is much lighter and the grass in the foreground is much brighter. And here we'll use the fan brush with some of that thin down white paint and we'll just make a whole series of small waterfalls cascading one on top of the other. Using the palette knife once again, we'll put some boulders here on the sides, ones that are not covered by water, they are just banking the waterfall. And we can give them a bit of highlight with some lighter brown yellow colors, mixed with some white. And now, at the very front, we're going to make individual blades and stalks that we can actually see. So we'll use a liner brush for this, and thin down some phthalo green paint so that it's easily spreadable. And we'll just keep stroking upwards. Dip the brush in repeatedly, and using an upward stroking make all these blades of grass and stems of the flowers. And these are just for these red poppies that are up close to the front of the picture. The ones that will be further back, you will not see their stems at all, since when things are far away you don't see as much detail. So we'll just dot them in. getting smaller as it goes further back into the picture. We'll try to follow the lay of the land, the sloping of the hills, how the poppies spread out over the hills. And we'll just touch up the sky a little bit more, 